immortality by their lifetime. It's not possible. But there is another way to get that same stage like immortality. And that is by activities. Our scripture say that we will perform such great activities or some work. What for reason? For others. Like that, uh, if you uh, get some very uh, really famous building, like the uh, uh, different tower, like this, all the creatures of that uh, all building, now the never they got uh, that water. Is it? Still now we are thinking about saying, still now we are saying, talking, discussing about saying. So still there are many activities. They died before 100 years or 200 years. But still there in our heart, in our mind. So Mahaprabhu, he asked that question to Ramana Heda. By the lifetime, no one can get this immortality. But by activity. So, which activity is the greatest and most important for our life? By which uh, one will get that emotion by that picture. Fifty dollars of one dollar. So Ramana Mama answered this Krishna Premo Bhakti Jarva will get the fame as a Krishna Premo Bhakti. Just Meditate about that word, Krishna Prema Bhakta. Not only Bhakta, not only Krishna Bhakta. Krishna Prema Bhakta. What is the difference between these three, three words? If I will say Bhakta, that means he is Bhakta. Bhakta means he is devotees of any Krishna form, Krishna avatar. Either Narasimha Dev, either other avatars. What it means? He must be connected with Vishnu. When you are saying Shiva Bhakta, Buddha Bhakta, Kali Bhakta, no, that is not correct. You are not allowed to say the devotee with the sadhanas of Shiva, that devotee is not. Why? Because Bhakti. She is also the beloved of Krishna. So if we take center on the lotus feet of bhakti, she will take us to a Prabhu, not to others. Not to Shiva or Kaliwa. So that's the point. If we take center on the lotus feet of bhakti, so anyhow she will take us to the lotus feet of Krishna. <coughs> any form of Sri Vishnu. So that means that is straight. If I say devotee, bhakta, so that means is connected with any Vishnu Tattva. Then go a little bit higher, Krishna Bhakta. <coughs> so everyone who is following, who is worshipping Krishna, that Krishna devotees. Everyone who are worshipping in any way. What is the greatness of Krishna Prima Bhakti? Why this identity is most important for our life? Now the point came, what Baba was saying. That we are born here, we are worshipping Krishna, we are following Nithai Gauranga, it's not only for us. I tell you, 
one uh, song composed by Prabhat Madan Gopal Goswami, my father. He composed a very nice song. It was some kind of prayer. Amra Chanachin Uttaram So, in that song, there is one verse, very nice. Shringar. It is for both. Dipavali Shringar. Dana? Yes. So, in that song, one verse is here. Apunare Noe Yadashi Vishpra Tola Hino 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 Shakole Tore Jano Nade Pran Nikhe Shoda Nikhe Thakke Very beautiful words and very most important words for all followers of Sri Nitana the Bhagavad We born here not only for us. Yes, first we have to take care about ourselves and then the most important part spread Krishna consciousness to everyone, others. If you do your bhajan only for you, that means your bhajan is useless. If you are not sharing your Krishna consciousness to others, who is next to you? It will start from your family, then society, then city, then country. But it will start from your family. So when we are born here as a human beings, so that is our duty to help others. Haroto, Bhubhute, Bhubhusha, Kule, Jan, Sahali, Jata, Janma, Shatha, Karo, Kuri, Karo, Kuri. When you were born here in Bharata Varsha, as a human being, so you have to success your life to help others, by helping others. What Srimad Mahaprabhu said about our Vajan, what is spirituality? What is exactly following the religion? What is exactly following the Dharma? Mahaprabhu said, Jive Daya Name Ruchi Vaishnava Seva Shuna Sanatha So, there is three points he said. And you can see there, there is not any word, not, not even a single word to worship deities in that way, in that way, in that way. First, we have to follow these three. Then the deities will come. If I just install one big deity, one big temple, and I didn't perform, I didn't follow the basics, so you're going to build a, your palace. Foundation must be very strong. So there is foundation for your bhajan. This first jiva, jiva daya. Your heart, your mind, your intelligence must be compassionate with others, everyone. Not only the human beings. For animal souls for plants, for trees, for everything. <coughs> Just sometimes people, Baba said that even in the rocks, you can feel Brahman Atma. They have also prana. They can reciprocate. The plants, they can. The rocks, they can. That is why when Krishna was praying through the rocks, 
they start to melt. So they have feelings. It's the proof. So they have feelings. They can. So that is why. First, we have to help, we have to serve the Vaishnavas, we have to uh, chat Mahavantra. It's connected. If we have no compassion for others, for everyone, <coughs> then the feelings, the realization of Harina will not appear in your heart. First, we have to share our love, which is here, in our heart, for everyone. Then, only by sharing love you can develop. Only love is there if you can share your money, it will finish one day. If you share your wealth, other wealth, with others, very soon it will finish. Even the wealth of Kubera, it will finish. But only one thing is there. By sharing, always it is developed thousand times, and that is love. So share as much as possible, which you have, and for that, you have to do nothing. Only you have to share, only you have to develop that desire to help to do seva. When we help to others, we have to think in that way, but we are not helping. If I think, I am helping you, that means what kind of ego is there? That means I am greater than you, that's, that's why I help you. It's, it's also one kind of ego. No. When I help to someone, I have to think in that way, I am serving. I am serving one devotee, I am serving one Vaishnava. So then it will work, otherwise the ego will appear. Mm -hmm. That is the greatness of Krishna Prema Bhakta, only they can do it. They can help, they can distribute everything, even their life, and they can think I'm serving the white of the sun. When we can perform that thing, when we can share our love to everyone, when we can share the Vaishnavas, now the point again, who is Vaishnava? That's the point, who is Vaishnava? Only such person who is putting Kila and who is wearing Kila Shimala, <coughs> about that, everywhere, in every heart, Krishna is there. Krishna is residing in every heart. Jive Sanman Paro Jani Krishna Jishtha. We have to respect everyone, even to the dogs. You know the stories of Tukaram? Tukaram, he was not sannyasi. He was not sannyasi, but he used to live his life as brahmachari and his king chandra. Every day, he would go to some neighbor's house or some house, two or three houses, and he will take something. If he will get something, very little or much quantity, so he will cook and he will prepare some food and he will offer Eternal, and then he will accept prasad. So it's happened in one stage, three, four days, he did not get any friction. So what he should do? That is his vow, he will go only three houses. So not more than three houses. Three, four days, he did not get any diksha from three houses. Every day he used to offer between <coughs> only water. And after he offered that water, he will accept that water as prasad. It's enough for him. 
But after three, four, five days, he got some flower as diksha. He came back, came back to, uh, to his kutir uh, and he prepared some chapati, three, four chapati. And after he prepared the chapati, he felt, oh, it's very hard. Maybe I should put some ghee on it, so it will be uh, soft. Then it will be okay for me to learn my brahu. So he went to a neighbor's house to get some ghee from there. When he was coming back from there with some ghee, so he saw one dog. He was also very hungry. He also didn't get any food three, four days. So he just took all the chapati and he was running. <coughs> and to see to Garam, he started to run so fast. And Tukaram also started to follow him, follow that dog running. And he was shouting, Oh, Gopal, Gopal, please stop. Just <coughs> Just listen, she was calling one dog, not dog, not to beat him, she was calling Gopa to that dog. And she said, please stop, what time? I have to put some ghee on it, then you can eat it. Otherwise it is very hard. And he can see Gopa inside the heart of a dog. So, in that way, you have to respect. Jive Shaman Puri Jani Krishna Dhishtha. In every herd, Krishna is there, so we have to respect everyone as Vaishnava. Where, where is Krishna? So that means it's a Vishnu Dham, isn't it? Temple. So everyone is Vaishnava. Even one dog, one bird, one snake, everyone is welcome. Only you have to feel it, you have to respect in that way. That is it. Here, in Radha country, when you roam here, you will do Parikrama. You can see so many monkeys are there, so many dogs are there, so many bulls here, just seated all. They just stand in the middle of the street, on the street. <coughs> they will not disturb everyone. Yes. They will not disturb everyone. But someone, they will get problem by them. <laughs> Only to see someone, they will show some things. The bulls, they will show their horn to them. Or monkeys, they'll jump on them, the dogs will bite them, or run behind them. So why? Just check, just ask. If they'll reveal the truth, they'll say, yes, I have fear for that. <laughs> if you have no fear for that bull, if you have no fear for that monkey, they'll not jump on you. If you have love for them, they won't do anything, any problem. If you have fear, if you are afraid about them, then they will do this. Or, if you are not really qualified to do parikrama, they will stop. Hey.
Oh uh-huh. 